Well, I just, I just, I, I heard this neighbor right here talking, and then when I woke up, I seen him with a garden hose. When I looked out there, the flames were just starting out the back of the home. So then I, you know, I called 911, you know, and then they were asking me where it was, and that's my old house right next door. Oh, they were probably 10 feet higher in the roof when I first seen it on the back side. Yeah. What's your first thought when you saw that? Oh, I, I know her personally. I've known that lady for 25 years. It was like a big, huge, enormous, giant firecracker. Just boom, boom, boom. And everything just went up. <laughs> Those flames were 15, 20 feet higher than that tree right there at all times. I mean, it never slowed down every time there was another explosion. There was like 15, 10 or 15 explosions. I have neighbors that live a half a block on the other side of those trees way over there, and they heard the explosions clear down there a block away. And they were hearing explosions one after the other. And it was just all her oxygen tank? I think so. You know, that I, you know, I'm just assuming. Yeah, she, was, she was on oxygen. I know that. But, uh, you know, I'm just assuming. Because I, I know she had one propane tank for that pottery thing she did in the basement. That was probably one of the bigger ones. But uh, there was many of them, many explosions in there on the back side. And they, that's probably why the firefighters couldn't get in there. I mean, it was dangerous. I guess it is a very sad day. It's just, you see this happening. You see all the fires. You see the, the boards just blowing in the air. And you, you see it and just, you can't believe it. Too unreal, too unreal.